Hi everybody, it's Mark Schelsch here. This is the Mark Art Show coming to you from Galleria de las Islas in Metro Manila, Philippines. It's a beautiful Saturday here in Manila and I want to talk a little bit about the blog I wrote yesterday uh, which referred to galleries and contracts and things like that. A few people seem to have got a wrong idea from it. I wasn't saying that galleries were wrong to contract artists. I was saying that artists must be very aware of what they're getting themselves into. Now, it does seem wrong when we say, well, uh, an artist contracted to the gallery for three years at a certain monthly stipend, and then the gallery gets the paintings. And this artist uh, became popular, and so the gallery is selling the paintings, and the price went up and up and up and up and up, but the stipend that the artist was getting remained the same. Is that right or wrong? Now, there's many people who would say, well, it's wrong, the gallery should have paid the artist more, and I'm not going to enter into whether it's right or wrong. The fact of the matter is, it's a contract, and the contract was very clear when the artist entered into it. And like a lot of things in life, we are always happy when we're on the right side of the ledger. But if it changes and you, the artist becomes popular, we end up on the wrong side of the ledger and all we say, hey, this is not fair, they're making a lot of money out of me and I'm only getting this amount. True. But, guys, you've got to think it this way. What about all the artists who are contracted to galleries, and there are many, and these artists never amount to anything? Then the gallery sits back and says, wow, well, i got another three years, i got to pay this guy, and uh, his art doesn't sell, it's not very good, I'm not happy with it, I'm contracted, and then the gallery's on the wrong side of the ledger and they have to wear it. Same thing. So you've got to see it from both sides. Always see it from a balanced perspective. For that one superstar who complains and says it's not fair, well, down the road they get it all back anyway. But think about all the times when the gallery does get an artist who doesn't sell and all the gallery ends up with it is a whole heap of paintings which are unsaleable. What do you do? So think about that way. Also, remember this. It's really blind to think about anything that, without understanding that a gallery is a business. Galleries are in business to make money. Yes, they take 40%, but usually they pay all the government taxes. Okay? So I don't see... As an artist, I never saw that galleries were ripping me off. Back in my days, it used to be 30%, up to 50%. Now it's regularly between 40 and 50%. Um, uh, but uh, galleries have staff, they have rentals, they have overheads that an artist doesn't have at the same level. So we've got to try and see it from that way. we also got to understand that the world has changed so dramatically in the last few years that galleries are changing too. Many galleries have gone out of business. Many galleries are unable to cope with the new reality that we're all facing. And as I've said, the gallery model that I grew up with is totally broken. It's, it doesn't work anymore. If a gallery is not pushing social media very hard, if it's not really out there on the internet doing its thing, it slowly gets lost in all the noise, just like an artist. If artists today are not beginning to embrace what social network can do for them, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, getting, finding your niche on one of these platforms and doing it, then you too will be left behind just like galleries are. So galleries are struggling. Many galleries are going broke. Many galleries are changing. Yes, there's new ones coming, but they too will find that the system is not like it is. This is certainly not a, a license to print money. This is a business just like any business, just like your business artist, where you have to be innovative and be prepared for change. So, with me and galleries and me and my artists that I look after, it's all about social networking. It's all about putting yourself out there. It's all about saying all that you can and recognizing that the old model does not work. Oh yes, there's galleries that are doing okay. Yes, there's galleries that are making money. Yes, there's artists who are doing okay without having to do social networking. But, and it's a huge but, the time is coming when everything is going to be on social, on the internet. And it's happening quicker and quicker and quicker. And we, as artists, must recognize this 
and we must begin to innovate our, our positions and our, our studios and our career so we can embrace the new normal which is coming. So I just want you to think about that. Don't, don't get to that mindset that some artists get that, oh, the galleries are the terrible people and, uh, and they're ripping everybody off. Most galleries aren't doing that. Most galleries are trying very hard to be ethical and do the right thing, just like we are in this gallery here. And as most galleries do, give out as well. Uh, we probably major more so on giving out to artists and trying to help and instruct them in their careers and do what they can. Uh, but, you know, all galleries are interested in artists doing well. I am interested in artists doing well. Um, but, of course, at the end of the day, the gallery's also got to pay for itself, just like your career's got to pay for itself. And so we come to that terrible position that many artists don't like, and that is we all need to sell. You and I have to sell to remain in business. You as an artist have to sell your product to remain in business, and I in a gallery have to sell my product to remain in business. So we're learning to change. We're learning new things to do. I certainly am. I know as a gallerist in this position, uh, I don't know how much longer I will be a gallerist for, but as a gallerist at this point of time, I see that innovation is the only way that we're going to go ahead. Trim off what doesn't work, prune the tree as it were, prune the apple tree so we get a better crop next year, get rid of what's not working, keep doing what is working and major on that and promote that and use that more and more to build what you want to get. It's all about that. It's all about understanding that the business has changed, understanding that the internet has done to us what it's done to everybody and it's changed it. People today, um, one of my staff put something up yesterday on, a, on one of our platforms and, and uh, this just gives you an idea of the power of the internet and within half an hour there was about five or six people requesting prices on this piece. It's a very good piece, it's a very old piece and it will sell for a reasonably high amount of money. But the internet is doing it. The customer doesn't have to come in here anymore to see what's new. The customer can do it all from home. And so with your business artist, you've got to start seeing past I need a gallery, past I need to be in this, and the focus should be on what can I do with my business to promote it on the internet, and I can promote it there for free. That's what's brilliant about the internet. Set up your artist page, set up your friends page, whichever which one you want to work with, and begin to put your work up there and talk about your work, blog it, photograph it, video it. I love that artists are doing videos. You know, I love Kelly's video this morning. Fabulous. You know, I love all that. It's great. Why? Because it lets me feel the artist. It lets me touch the artist emotionally. I can say, wow, and I can see how much she loves it. And, and I can recognize the passion that's there. That's what sells paintings. That's what changes people. That's what makes someone going from, oh yeah, it's okay to, wow, I love it. That makes a change. And so artists, it's really easy to do videos. It's really easy to do a blog. You just do it. And you know, the great thing about blogs, if you're afraid of doing a blog in your name, do it in someone else's name. Do it in the name of somebody in high school you didn't like. <laughs> do whatever you want. Just get out there and do it. It's all about that. The whole thing is about innovation. Innovate or change. Oh, sorry, innovate or die. I'm sorry, I missed that. Innovate and change work together for success. Innovate or die, staying safe, staying stable, staying average, staying mediocre, keeping out of the way is death. Won't, won't get there with that. Okay, my friends, I hope that helps a little bit. Uh, clear it up a little bit about galleries. They're really not the enemy. Most galleries are for artists and want to do the best. And yes, most galleries will tell you, don't change your style. That's because they're a business. They like the, the color of this book and they want to sell as many of them as they possibly can. I don't think that way. I think differently. I want change. I want artists to be doing new things all the time. Okay, I'm going to leave it at that for this Saturday. I hope you all have a fabulous weekend. Get out there, enjoy yourselves. And uh, remember, I look forward to the day when you come and visit me here in Galleria de las Islas. And we can talk about art. I love talking about art. And uh, remember to help and care for people. Hugs and smiles are free. Have a great weekend, guys. Get out there and enjoy life. Ciao.